Hey guys, what is up? And I am back here with some drag racing streets after I've restarted for the for the third time. It's it's been rough, but uh, basically I just want to be here to let any like new people that want to play the game or anyone that is now interested in playing the game uh, just tell them some tips and tricks, just a couple, but um, they're not going to be in order. Of course, because you know you can't really rank any of these because they're all pretty good tips and tricks to use. But the first one that I'm going to say is to always do your daily missions. So right here next to the chat button, there's a little clipboard. And if you click it, you'll see all your quests, which are kind of like daily missions. And if you do all of these, you can get a ton of experience in green and coin, which coin is a little... Um, C with the circle, and the green is like the money with the square, and it's green, so that's why people call it green. And you get a lot of that. You don't have to do the like the big deal, deal, or maximum profit. You don't have to do this, but if you do, you can get some really good stuff. But I'm more talking like the 10 races, the pro, the time race, stuff like that. The main one is if you're on between 12 and 2, so like noon to 2, you will get 36 experience. I think around thir like 12 or 1300 coin, and then you'll get a thousand nuts. So if you don't know, nuts are what you use to do these, the blueprints. So these require the nuts, as you can see. They're called upgrade points or nuts, whatever you want to call them. Um, but basically you get a thousand of those, which will help you upgrade your car, get more horsepower per ton, etc. Uh, the second one is to always do your challenge races. So as you can tell, I've already done mine, but there's six challenge races, and if you do all of them, you get six of these green crates, they're fuse crates, and you can go through and sell those on the marketplace for some green, and that's how I've been getting my green to do upgrades on my car, is by doing that. So I would highly recommend always doing your challenge races, so you can always get the crates, which is kind of like an insurance for more green, so we don't have to keep buying with like real money. Uh, the third one is to go to the game bank, and it's to scroll all the way over, and it's to tell I've already done it, but there's an exchanger all the way here, and you can buy 10 green for 2,000 coin. So I, I do that a lot, and then when I need it, I buy the 10,000 nuts or... Uh, upgrade points for 100 green, which is a pretty good deal, too. So, there's that, that you should really do. And then, also, just do tournaments. So, basically, even if you can't win, like you have a low horsepower per ton car or something, always do tournaments. Because if you can win two, and you buy the third one for 10 green, and even if you lose, you'll get 10 green back, and then you'll get another 10 green for just doing the tournament. But with the tournament races, you can get 10 experience and 10 green. So if you do those, you'll get 10 green and 10 experience. So you'll get your green back, but you'll also get some extra experience. So it's worth the 10 green if you've already won two races, or and you want to do the third one, or if you've won a race and then lost the race, and you have to buy the other one for 10 green. It's worth buying the extra one for 10 green, because again, even if you lose, you're just going to get the 10 green back plus the experience. And the experience is the stuff that you really want. Um, the next one is to just basically go on the map right here, bottom right, click on the market, and look on the market for cheap stuff like these crates with fuses, these ones right here, the green ones. Those will be, those can go down to like 10, well, I don't think I've ever seen them go down to 10 green, but they can go down to 11 green, and when they're there, try to buy some of them if you need to, like, do a custom car, which is basically you can swap an engine from a different car into this car, which, if you guys want a video, l let me know down in the comments. I'll, I can make a video on that, because the car I'm using is a custom swap, but uh, you can use these fuses. Um, basically, you can get these yellow crates uh, the fuse crates from the green fuse crates or, you know, neons and stuff, but you can get the fu the yellow fuse crates, which you can use to get fuses to use for swapping the engine on a car. And again, if you can buy them for like 11 green, that's pretty good, especially if you need them, they're fairly cheap. 
But you're also going to need this stuff all the way down here, like the front shaft, rear shaft, front hub, rear hub, front support, rear support, and the carden shaft. You're going to need all those to do your swap too. So like with the front and rear supports, I usually buy those when they're three because that, that's really, really cheap for those. And same with the carden shaft when they're around, like now they're at four. When they're around three to five, if you need them, buy them because they're cheap. Like here, the rear hub, you can see it's worth three. If you can, if you if you know you're going to do a swap sometime in the future or you want to do a swap, just buy them when they're like three or four because they're really, really cheap. And normally they're at like five, six, seven, eight green. So if you can buy them when they're cheap at three, then you're fine. And if you don't end up needing it, then you can just sell it and probably possibly get, um, you know, get some extra green in your pocket. And the final one, the final one I have for you guys is to try to get as many upgrades as you can. And what I mean by that is not upgrading your engine. Because as you can see, there's multiple tabs here for your engine. But I don't mean your engine. I mean for everything in general. Because if you look like the turbo, I have everything full set. Minus 100 RPM turbo start. Which means my, my turbo starts an extra 100 RPM less. With the exhaust, I get an extra 5 Newton meters of torque. Um, well... Technically, it's horsepower, but uh, it, this game's a little funky. But as you can see, also with the full, I have like the full suspension. I don't get bones for that, but I have the full suspension. Then I have the body stuff like that. Try to get your car as upgraded as possible, not just engine-wise, but everything: engine, turbo, exhaust, suspension, body. Try to get everything upgraded as you can, and then from that, also do your blueprints. Because if you just leave everything like upgraded but no blueprints, your car is probably going to have at max 500 horsepower per ton. With these blueprints, you can get them to insanely high horsepower per ton. Like, as you can see here, I've been probably only playing this game for about two and a half weeks from having to restart. My car is already at 1,000 horsepower per ton. I'm already level 29, and I have 525 out of 75 gas. Because when you level up, you'll get a certain amount of coin. Like, the first time you level up, you might get 12,000 coin, um, 25 green, and then 75 gas. But the next time you level up, you'll get 13,000 coin, 26 green, and still 75 gas. So every time you level up, you'll get 1,000 more coin, one more green, and still never changing 75 gas. Or fuel. So... Just try to level up as much as you can, as fast as you can, and do as many upgrades as you can. Like, don't buy stuff with money if you don't want to, because I haven't spent any money in this game. Don't buy, like, green or coin if you don't want to. Just wait and relax, because there's also the daily mission, like, the daily login bonuses. So if you log in, like, for the first time in a day, you'll get consecutive login uh, stuff. So... Just do that stuff, and you guys should be good. Um, again, if you guys want another video, like, detailing how to do um, engine swaps, let me know down in the comments. Um, if you want more tips and tricks of maybe how to race better, how to do tournaments better, just general stuff like that, how to join a team, let me know in the comments. Just really anything you want, let me know down in the comments. I'll, I'll look, definitely look at the stuff, and just as for like an end of the video thing, um, I just wanted to tell you guys that I haven't been as busy because um, I don't think I've told you guys here on YouTube yet, but I've actually become a moderator for someone on Twitch. Um, he's not a big Twitch streamer, but um, <laughs> I will say it, it does take a lot of time and effort to do the stuff that I need to do for him. At least I have to do stuff for his Discord, I have to do stuff for his actual stream, and then while he's streaming, I have to actually help him, you know, keep the chat in check, I have to make sure people stay in check, there's no bots, whatever. So it, that has been, like, the main reason why I haven't been, um, like, uploading a lot, because I have stuff planned, I have stuff going, but... With me now becoming a moderator, it's becoming a little harder um, to do stuff because I have this to also add on to the side as well. 
Um, but I don't worry, I'll still be looking to get some stuff for you guys. Like, I'm still looking to get a gaming laptop so I can do stuff like some car mechanic simulator mods. Um, just maybe some Halo stuff, just some goofy stuff in general. Maybe some GTA 5 mod stuff. Just some goofy stuff in general. I want to get some stuff done. I want to do like mod videos. I really can't do mods on my Xbox. So I'm trying to get a gaming laptop so I can do that stuff for you guys. And do my Twitch moderation stuff better. And so maybe. It's not, it's not set in stone. But maybe so I can start streaming. Because I've wanted to stream since I hit a hundred subs and now we're at like almost 500 so it's 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 crazy so i, I really want to get streaming um and yeah it, like it might not be good and it might be kind of not the best quality but i want to do streaming i wanted to do streaming for quite some time and i haven't been able to because the computer i have can barely run YouTube videos as it is. It has trouble with Bluetooth connection with my headphones, and it has trouble just running as it is because it's like six years old, and it's really, really bad. So I'm trying to get this $700 gaming laptop, but as I said, like for a gaming laptop, that's on the cheaper side, but as a price standpoint, that's an expensive, expensive laptop. So for me to actually get the money and, you know, get it ordered on Amazon and everything, with everything that's going on in the world right now, it's not easy. So, but I'm, I'm trying to get the money some way, somehow, to get it. Um, and also, I'm not the best. I'm still learning, but I have also started playing the guitar that's another reason i haven't been uploading this because i'm trying to learn how to play the guitar so i just want to let you guys know just a quick little update at the end here just to tell you guys uh like what i've been up to and what's been going on i believe my friend as i said i'm a moderator for him and i'm definitely definitely happy to say that i consider him a friend of mine so if you guys want to go check him out I will leave a link for his Twitch channel in the description below so you guys can check him out because I have so much fun being there and I, I, I just love it there. So if you guys want to go check him out, I'd really appreciate it. Drop a follow, um, maybe check out one of the streams. If you want to know what time he's streaming, ask in the comments or check out his Discord, which I will also link below so that you guys can join our community and join that. So you can go to the schedule tab and see when he's streaming and what games he'll be streaming or what he'll be doing. But um, that's all I have to say for this one. And I will see you guys in the next video.